like the way Danes pay close attention to small thoughts and ideas and turn them into something big and important. Uh, plain design, beautiful buildings uh, and a uh, healthy way of life and uh, you know, care about uh, citizens in big cities. We inspire not only each other but a lot of Russians, first of all Russians. They change their mind because of uh, your approaches in this sector. The way the Danish uh, state uh, and the Danish Cultural Institutes try to support uh, Danish culture. Uh, I can give two short examples. Uh, for some years ago, one Russian companist wrote a music when he read uh, Smil and Your Sense and Snow. He was inspired. And we can we have another example the other way. For some days ago, you presented the book of the Danish young writer. She was inspired by Russian culture, Russian literature. So, different ways. It works different ways, and we, we never know how and when it will happen. Uh, Russians were more advanced in the space technologies, but not in the social. And uh, Danes, they gave us a great inspiration how to change it close to the to the person and make make it more comfortable. Organized in our uh, city, in other cities of Russia, uh, <clears throat> uh, for high school for all these people. Uh, this is a new, new moment in Russia. И very important this uh, our general uh, partner, uh, Danish Dutch institution in St. Petersburg. The connection with the media is very good uh, to maybe to integrate a lot of Russians in this cooperation. Mm -hmm. And probably there should be a lot of centers of Danish Russian friendship all over the Russia. Yeah, soon uh, to the exhibition from Denmark in Tsarskoe Selo about uh, Empress Mary Felton, Princess Dagmar. So that's why all these links between museums are, became more and more important. Uh, in my view, more Danes should come and visit Russia, as there are still some uh, who think that Russia is just putting vodka and pancakes and it is a very profound review on us. And I also think that uh, we can't deepen our uh, relationships between our two countries until propaganda in mass media is so widespread. Nevertheless, I think that uh, the relationships between our countries are very close now and there, are, there exist various projects and Scandinavian culture is very popular among young generation in Russia. I think we really need to do more. It's just just about doing more, bringing more artists, bringing more, you know, musicians, poets, uh, you know, writers, designers, architects, so that they not only talk about what they are doing in, uh, in in Denmark in their you know native country, they also see what's happening here. They see actually that Russia is not a monster, <laughs> absolutely. And it's a very different, because of all this you know, uh, media propaganda, the image uh, you know, can be really spoiled far beyond it is in reality. And uh, so it's very important that people come here, see that it's you know, a normal country, uh, you know, everything is going well, especially in the field of culture. And uh, also they speak about Denmark and Danish culture, they learn from, from Russia and they create uh, partnerships and they go on working together regardless what's happening in the Olympics.